Hey, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. And I'm trying to get onto that last pencil case, but all this other stuff keeps coming up. Now, last week I put up a video on how to square a board after you've joined it using a sprung joint. But I've had a few emails since, and people have asked, but what about planing it to size? So I thought I'll give you a quick demonstration of planing to size, and then in the meantime, a real job's come in that I actually have to make the board flat and square. So I'll take you to a real life situation, show you how you can do it with planes, which I covered a couple of videos ago, but also if you're fortunate enough to have machinery and you've got a thicknesser, but your jointer isn't wide enough, I'll show you how you can take a bow out of a board using a thicknesser. So back to this thing here. Now, for example, I don't even know what size it is. Well, it's just under seven eighths of an inch, which would be maybe 13 sixteenths or a fraction over 21 mil. Now, let's say I want to get that down to 19 mil or three quarters of an inch. What I'll do is take my gauge and this is an absolutely stunning gauge. It's gorgeous. One that Colin Clinton makes. Uh, it's Macassar ebony and brass and it's an absolute delight to use. That's now set to 19 mil. So I've got a board and by the way, if for any reason, you want to check to see if the board's nice and flat and true. Apart from using squares, the other thing you can do is winding sticks. If I saw it down there, then they're parallel. Then I know that board's flat. Once you've got it flat and you want it plain to a certain size, grab hold of your marking gauge and I will mark all the way around with this side of the gauge on the face side. Like so. All the way around. Now if it was a lot to take off, say for example this was an inch board and I wanted it down to 19 mil, three quarters of an inch, rather than taking a quarter of an inch off one side, I would take an eighth of an inch off either side. That way you're releasing the moisture on the same uh, quantity and it's not going to cup and bow and it won't take as long to settle. But seeing we've only just got a skerrick to take off here, I'll just take it off the one side. Pop it in the vise. If you've got a tail vise, use a tail vise. If not, use a normal vise. The reason I like the tail vise is because it gives me support under the entire job. Now I was going to introduce this plane a little bit later. I've talked about it before. But it's a scrub plane. And a scrub plane has got a very, very aggressive curve and also a huge mouth when you compare it to a normal Stanley number four, or for that matter, one of my favorite planes, the H&T Gordon. It's got a very fine mouth. First of all, I'll use the scrub plane and it's, it's the roughneck of uh, the planes. It just, well, if you like, the scrub planes, the chainsaw of the, the hand planes. I've got this set fairly aggressively. And if you have a look, that is a serious chunk of timber coming off there. As you can see, it doesn't take long to get down to that line. But we don't want to get down to that line just using the scrub plane. Because then when we flatten it properly, it's going to be too narrow. So I'll just finish these off. And it's got some big undulations in there which are absolutely amazing. The next plane, you can go straight to a smoothing plane after that, but I prefer using what I call a hogging plane. Now, if you want, if you've got an old number four, or you pick one up on one of the auction sites, 
you can make your own by simply getting the blade and then curve a radius into the blade itself. Don't worry about being too finessing on the, on the sole to get it all nice and flat. That one is nice and flat. As you can see, the blade isn't set as aggressive as the scrub plane was. But that's because we want to remove some stock, but basically we want to remove the ridges left by the scrub plane. to the line. Now you can see we're just about down to the line there and we're just on the line there. So now's the time to grab a smoothing plane. And you can tell that smoothing plane is taking out the ridges that were left by the scrub plane. By all means, use a, a metal one. This is a number three. And as you can tell, it does a good job too. It's just over the last few months I've sort of fallen in love with just using wooden planes. It's, Something about wood on wood and metal. Three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch, three quarters, three quarters. Make sure it's square, which it is. Um, double check that. Make sure it's square to both ends. Which it is. So if you haven't got any machines, you don't have any excuses, a couple of hand planes, and you can flatten boards and dimension them to size.